and trust me, we can feel it. So, um, you know, we thank you for that as well. So applause for you guys. Thank you. <laughs> I am so proud to play with each of these guys. They're such incredible people. They're such incredible musicians. It's, um, really such an honor because each one of them is so special in their own way and as a group it just has such a chemistry um, so I'm really honored and proud and happy so I want you guys to give each one of these gentlemen your best very best New York applause much um, the incarnation of this club, the first one, was where this music was built. Yep. And so to be any part of that lineage is such an honor. I'm talking a lot, but I can't help it because this is our last. This is it. We're ready to go home for a minute. I want to thank, because we've played together for such a long time, he's got such big ears, so sensitive. Um, I was looking for a keyboard player and I, I called Antoine Roney and I'm like, dude, I need somebody who understands Herbie. <laughs> he's my favorite piano player ever. I need somebody who understands that plus, you know? And he said, I got the guy for you. And we've been playing together. Uh, ever since. Um, I really appreciate him. I love him. Thank you so much, man. You, you don't know how much you need to know. The kind of part is on the keyboard. Chart-wise, what we need support-wise, you know, he's always giving his heart and, and, and playing so greatly and always ready. <laughs> he's doing matinees during the day and, and Broadway and he's coming here and playing his heart out at night. Um, I just thank you so much because, man, I love you. And um, I'm going to start crying. <laughs> Give a big New York applause for Remy Woodneck on the guitar. Sweatbox, little teeny room that I had that was 15 by 20, no windows, no AC. 
stuff. Yes, we play for hours, and um, you know it, it, it pays off because because uh, it helps us get to the next step and the next step and the next step and the next step, and it will help us get to our further steps because this band is still growing, oh, yeah. which is what I love about these guys. They don't stop, they don't quit, they keep going. Baby is beautiful. That ballad was so pretty. Thank you for that. Um, and he's a, uh, you know, <laughs> he's from Detroit, but he's a New Yorker now. Look at that hat. He's from New York. That's right. <laughs> Give it up to Teddy Allen on the tennis saxophone. New York. That's right. 24 is in the house, and I don't even know what the heck to say about him. He just is blowing my mind all the time. I love this dude. And, um, you know, oh, goodness. <laughs> I wanted to play with him when I first heard him, and, um, you know, the band was a, a quartet. We were just playing the four of us. Um, and I was thinking, man, we could really use some more layers in here. That would be really cool, because you know, my favorite saxophone player is Wayne Shorter, and I hear the layers of weather report, and I'm thinking, okay, I want that. You know, I want that sound. Um, and this guy understands that so well. JD, he understands that so well, um, emulating so much more than he probably even knows of my hero. And so when we play Palladium, uh, that is our tribute to Wayne because um, he gave so much to the music and uh, Emilio brings that spirit out and it's living. He's so great and he's 24. I can't believe it. You play like you're 224. I love this guy. I'm ready to adopt this dude. I want to take him. I want to take him with me everywhere. I'm gonna adopt him. I'm stealing him. <laughs> Woo! You guys gotta really, really, really give it up again, like you did for these three. You gotta give it up so much for Emilio Modesto on the ten. There's always room to grow. There's always room to let the music speak. And that's what everybody here does so well. And, um, you know, this guy's my right hand. This dude is my left hand. <laughs> I got a beautiful left and right. I love it. <laughs> man, oh man, he's another one. When I first heard him, I just wanted to play with him right away. We were in a rehearsal and I sat down not knowing who the band was. I just knew everybody by first names and I really wasn't paying attention because I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll you know, saxophone players gig. I'll, I'll make the gig, yeah, whoever, you know, whatever, I'll come. I started playing, showed up, I had a, a, a double booking that day, so I was at an earlier gig. I showed up at the rehearsal, started playing, and um, they were already rehearsing. I just sat down at the drums and first thing I noticed before I noticed anything was the bass player. The notes, the feel, the attention to the rhythm and to the drums and to the harmonies and to everything else. And um, I was like, wow, I, I, whoever this dude is, I gotta play with him some more. <laughs> and um, you know, I gotta say this, I have to say this again because it's so important. I didn't know who his daddy was. And his daddy is like one of my absolute favorite musicians and bass players. I got about three top, and he's one of the three. And um, I just, you know, I didn't know, which is really cool, because I just loved him for who he is. And so for who he is, for what he does, for what he brings, for his energy, for his attention to the music, you know, he's always ready. And um, I just, you know, he plays his ass off. 
<laughs> I love him, love him, love him. I thank you, man. I, I love you so much. You're incredible. Please, 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 New York. Come on. Give it up for Peter's Pastorius on the bank. Give it up for the tall one. Give it up for this band, y'all. He's got him in the crowd. back here. Um, so excited and um, looking forward to that, whenever that happens. So I uh, hope that you guys all come back because you guys are beautiful. This energy is amazing and thank you for giving it up. Thank you for going on these journeys with us. I am Cindy Black and Santana on the road. Thank you. Can't wait.